Let's dive into the sentence here, see what we can pick out of these lines. What's some strong words that we notice? For a 2020 exhibition, photographer and neurobiologist Okinola Jayafus, something a series of new images, so they're new images, based on a series of alphabet posters in the 1970s known as the Black ABCs, which featured black children from Chicago. Jayafus photographed the now adult models and layered the photos over magnified images of the model's cells, resulting in what he called micro and macro portraiture. This is a lot of detail, but basically this person made something, right? There's, there's some photos, they took the photos. Okay, great. So um, they uh, this uh, Okinola validated a series of new images? No, if they were already existing and uh, he or she was trying to, um, I guess, like make sure that they were correct, that would be validating, right? To validate is to kind of like prove true. So that that doesn't make sense. Um, and it's a he, I guess. Um, created though, right? He's taking the pictures. So he's creating these new images and this is how he does it is the rest of the paragraph. They're kind of explaining it. So that makes sense. Um, he challenged a series of new images. Well, no, they're, again, he's making them. If someone else had made them and then he's like, no, these images are bad, then that would be a challenge. But I don't have any negativity really anywhere in this sentence. So that just doesn't make any sense. And if they're new images, how could they be restored, right? Restore means to fix. So they're using old images kind of as the background here, but he is making new ones. So restore just doesn't make sense. So created is definitely the better word and that's a familiar word, I would hope. So you should kind of feel that it fits and makes sense with the plot here. And that's the thing is even if you can't come up with a word on your own that you would like to put in the blank, that's okay. We can try the words that are there and test them out and kind of just go with the thing that fits the best. Like don't overthink it. Uh, usually one answer will just kind of stick out as being right, especially in cases like this where you should know what all of these words mean.